So in this video, I'm going to go over the exact performance max ad copy framework we use at my Google Ads agency to help ensure we gain the best quality ad copy we can for our clients. Now, why do we even use an ad copy framework? Well, the simple reason is we have a lot of assets we need to fill in. If we go to a campaign here, we have 15 headlines, we have five long headlines, we have five descriptions, and we have a few other bits that we need to fill in. And now that's a lot of ad copy to be creating without following a certain structure. And the reason I created this structure is because you need to make sure you're ensuring you have the highest quality ad copy that is persuasive and that uses psychological tactics in order to help persuade your user to convert. Now, when I first started running Performance Max campaigns, I was often quite intimidated by the amount of headlines we needed to fill in. And often I would just get to a point when I've got to say maybe eight headlines and I'll just start filling in random headlines, just really ticking the boxes or even using their generate headlines, which is often often not very good. And this was the same for long headlines, they followed no structure, and the same for descriptions, no structure was included. It was just ticking the box, filling in as many, as many assets I could, so my ad strength here could be improved. Okay, and that's not a good process to do. And the other reason we do this is because when we have everything in line like this, we can upload and create our campaign in Google Ads Editor, which literally takes two minutes. And I will show you exactly how we do that in this video. So let's run over this ad copy framework. So what we have is a structure where we have the campaign name here, and these are the asset groups in our PMAX. I recommend you to use one campaign per sheet here, and then basically you're just segmenting out per your asset groups. But let's talk about it here. So this column here, so column C to AE, is all about our headlines. These are 15 headlines that we need to fill in. And I recommend you to start here because we follow a certain structure this way, but we then recycle into our long headlines. So it makes sense. Let's talk about the type of copy we are wanting to include in each of these headlines. Now, headline one, we talk about the product name. Headline two to four, we talk about the product description. We're literally describing what the product is. And then we talk about the benefits in headline five to 10. And then following that, we talk about social proofing, shipping and returns, brand name, and two calls to action to end the headlines here. Now, I recommend you starting here because then when we move on to our long headlines, we also follow a structure where we talk about the product name followed by the product description. So we can recycle exactly what we've done in our headlines into our long headlines. And then we talk about, again, our product name, desired outcome, and addressing our number one objection. Then in long headline three, we talk about the product benefit, followed by CTA. Headline four, we talk about product name, social proofing, and scarcity. And then in finally, in long headline five, we talk about the product benefit, followed by social proofing and delivery. So we're following a structure here in every bit here in every asset here. And the reason we do that is because Pmax wants to test as much as possible. So the reason you give a full asset Pmax is because you let Performance Max go and test out the best combinations of ad copy to see what works well in order to persuade your user to convert because your aim is for the user to convert and turn into a sale. So that's headlines and long headlines. Then we move on to descriptions. So as we see here, we have description one, which is actually our short description. To the side of every copy asset here, we actually have a character count with a little reminder of how many characters you can go to at the top here. So this one is 60. So if we were to go over it by adding in some random characters, you'll see this will turn red to signal that it's longer than it should be and you need to trim it down a bit because when you come to upload it, this will be a pain in your ass for when you have to go back and change your ad copy. So then again, let's talk about description two. We have a product description followed by social proofing. Description three is key features slash benefits followed by social proofing. And description four is desired outcome, addressing your number one objection, ending with a call to action. And description five is deliveries and returns followed by a CTA. And finally, some extra bits I've added into it now is actually our business name and our page paths here. And the reason I added this is because I formally didn't have it in and I have to go through and do this manually after, but now we don't. It's already done in here. 
okay so that's the explanation a very quick explanation of the ad copy framework now let's see it in use and this is why i love using this because typically what we do we'll get everything sorted out beforehand so each team member can go through and quality check each other's work to ensure it makes sense to each other and we're not having any spelling mistakes or, or low quality ad copy and then we send it to the clients for approval and then finally we upload it and build everything in ads editor because it is so efficient to do so now let's see this in action. So all we need to do is copy and paste this because these columns on row two are gonna act as our columns in Google Ads Editor. They match up so it makes it really quick to upload. So let's go to here and we are going to go to campaign and I'm gonna create a new campaign, Performance Max. And we'll just do this. Oh, we have a, ad, we have a name actually we need to use. So let's use this. So we're going to call it that because then that's the way our asset groups are actually going to match up. So now we go to this button here, which is make multiple changes. And we want to use this selection here. My data includes columns for my campaigns or ad groups. And then I'm literally going to paste it from the clipboard here. And there we go. We have our row here, campaign, asset group, headline one, headline two, da 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 da. But you can see it doesn't import our character count because it was not a corresponding column or attribute in Google Ads Editor. Now let's make a campaign in seconds. So let's process that, finish changes, keep. And what we can see here is we have our asset group name followed by our 15 headlines, five long headlines, five descriptions, and our page paths and our business name. Yeah, so it makes it really, really simple. Then what I do after this, I go through and do it actually individually because each asset group needs to be unique in terms of the images you use and in terms of the videos you use. And that's exactly why I love using this ad copy framework because it makes it so quick to do so. Okay, guys, that's it from me. I'll keep this one short and sweet. But if you are an e-commerce brand and you just want us to do the work for you, then feel free to go onto my website, link in the description, and schedule a call with me and we can go over your goals and how we can help scale your Google Ads accounts. Okay, thank you for that one guys, I'll see you in the next.